Hey guys, and guinea pig here, and hello, my fellow inklings. Nintendo has plopped a Nintendo Direct all about Splatoon 3 firmly in our laps. It is around 32 minutes long, so we're not going to waste a lot of time. We're going to hop right into this. I'm really excited for Splatoon 3. Full disclosure, I never played Splatoon 1, but I was a very active, up until recently, Splatoon 2 player. You could find me on the World Wide Web's with my splat roller. Yes, that was my weapon of choice. I loved playing that game. I haven't played it recently, but very keen to play Splatoon 3. Let's see what it has in store for us, shall we? Clickety clack. Oh, we didn't get the clickety. All right, let's head to the lab. Not actual gameplay. This might be the same trailer we saw many moons ago when they announced it. This is Splatsville in the heart right. of the Splatlands. Despite its old fashioned appearance, it's seen enormous growth in recent years. Looks great. It's also the hottest new place for inklings looking for things to do. Oh, hello, everyone. Hope you're all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. We're the Who are researchers you? from the Squid Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in kit form and right. smoothly swim through it in swim form. Right. We've been studying their biology day and night. So this presentation is for absolute beginners as well. Today, apparently. we'd like to share some new findings on these inklings while providing summaries throughout. Plattsville looked like Hong Kong. Just of course, what crammed on top of each other. Also applies to the octolings. We're sure of it. First, turf right. war. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking mm -hmm. with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, my favorite game mode for four favorite pastime. Yeah, two teams of four will ink for three minutes. The most fun. The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf, wins. Yep. Now, that's not all inking is for. No. Ink walls to swim up. Okay, so this is really like. Or get if you don't, and hide an ink to splat opponents. If you don't know anything about Splatoon, the more ink you spread, the bigger the advantage you'll have in battles. This will sort you out. Whoops. If you're out of ink, submerge down. It yes. Field. New techniques like the squid surge to swim oh. up walls in a single burst, and okay. the squid roll to jump okay. out of ink while simultaneously turning around have also been spotted. A little alpha spin. <laughs> Oh, while it's glowing like this, the mm -hmm. move also slightly repels ink from opponents. Oh. We've discovered where these turf war battles Tactics will people. take place. Stages confirmed for the Splatlands include Scorch Gorge, mm -hmm. Eel Tail Alley, Mincemeat Metalworks, and Undertow Spillway. Okay. There seem to be other stages as well. Thank God. Hagglefish Market, a pier wow. filled to the bream with street vendors. Level design so looks so fishy, cool. Though. Colorful Several and stages creative. from Greater Inkopolis also return. Museum Del Foncino. Battles here take place in the central courtyard of this modern name. museum. Take special note of the rotating wall. Noted. Hammerhead Bridge. This bridge connects Greater Inkopolis to the Splatlands. After sure. lots of construction work, it's finally open. Thanks to the bridge, transit to and from Greater Inkopolis is much easier. Mahi Mahi Resort. Right. A luxury resort oh, that looks cool. in Greater Inkopolis. Pay close attention. That water to looks pretty nice, Nintendo. As the battle goes on. I there see you. More areas to ink afterward, so don't forget to splat them. Mm-hmm. Including the stages you see here, a total of 12 <laughs> Like away. that name, Wahoo World. 
more 12 stages, stages not bad okay free post launch updates free don't you love the sound of that now let's get into the inky essence of battles look at that link pose breath of the wild pose first it appears that all the basic weapons from previous games will be available that's how you do On it top of that Splatland specific weapon types, Ooh. such as the bow like stringers, will make their destructive debut. I'm into it. That looks cool. We've also verified a new weapon type called Splatanas. <laughs> this is the Splatana Wiper. Oh, I Same like that. Ink flying with the centrifugal force generated by swinging. Swing after charging up a bit. And it'll transform into a charged slash. Oh, that's going to be a strong as weapon. Expected, that's going to be like a roller. One or two hits. Attack, but the charged slash yeah. At close range is also just, quite devastating. Just chopping through people. Let's dive into the weapons that can help you claim even more turf. Special weapons. That's sick. As the name implies, these are special kinds of weapons that can be unleashed after filling up the gauge from inking right. turf. There are some new types we've identified. Sentries. So let's take a closer look. This is the tactic cooler. When it's activated, hmm. a fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages stored inside. These have wow. a variety of effects, like momentarily increasing speed. I like that. They come in packs of four, so take one and share the rest with your teammates. Creating more in-depth strategy the in the gameplay. Point. I like it. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. It'll also mm -hmm. mark an opponent's location and cause damage. Oh, nice. Try to avoid them with a well-timed jump. The tracker. Finally, Kinda. the reef slider. Build up power. <laughs> it's a shark. Charge into opponents who need a good splat. Once the attack oh. ends. It'll explode and damage the surrounding area. Well, then the Kira slide, of course. Like the Tenta missiles, Ink Jet, yeah. Ink Storm. Big fan of the Ink Storm, personally. And Booyah Bomb will also make their grand return. <laughs> Special weapons are paired with main weapons. So find the combo that suits <laughs> your splatting style. That tank looks so cool. Might have to use splat dualies just to mess around with Shop the tank. Here to get your tentacles on some fresh weapons. I wonder if the frame rate's gonna this drop horribly in Splatsville. Owned by the chatty horseshoe crab Sheldon. The locals have Sheldon looks like a minion. That's funny. Weapon wisdom and sophisticated selection. Instead of using in-game currency for purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. I need. Obtain them by leveling up through battles and by consistently using the same weapons. Okay. Little grindage. But Splatoon's a fun game to grind in. One weapon that corresponds to your level. Oh, and just between us, if you exchange more Sheldon licenses than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Sheldon. Little nerd. By the way, the Inklings and Octolings walking around town are pretty savvy about their fashion. Uh -uh. Things like headgear, clothing, and shoes are just as important as weapons to staying fresh in Splatsville. Sure. Ain't that you life. Can be obtained in the shops around here. Each one is managed by an interesting shopkeeper. So let's drop in. All right, let's see some of these interesting. Oh my! This is not Couture, a headgear shop. Gnarly You'll Eddie. Find an array of hats, masks, and glasses, so you can get ahead of the game. Gnarly Eddie looks like he would he would smell back, smell. He would sell Eddie. smoking and goods, energetic bongs, and things. The snail sitting here, run the shop. This hmm. is the clothes boutique, Mana Wardrobe. It specializes in tops, like t-shirts and jackets. Okay. The shopkeeper, Jell Lafleur, might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. 
And left and finally, the Whoa, Mr. Coco. Get a variety of cool kicks here, from sneakers to sandals and even leather footwear. It's owned by Mr. Coco. He might look intimidating, but deep down, Gigantic. he's a nice guy. Probably. You're more than welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance. But they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. Right. Take run speed up. Fashion for and function. It can increase your running speed. Or intensify action. This improves the squid roll and squid surge moves. There are even okay. more abilities to discover. Plus, Par for the course. Plus, there's a fellow in Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. It's us. Talk to Merch here, and you can add an ability of your choosing to your favorite gear. Yeah, okay, I like that. And if you save your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits, you can change mm -hmm. in a flash. Flavor up your fashion with whatever outfits you want. It's like Simply five presets. Fantastic. Yeah, like it. All right, what about part for the course, right? Welcome to the lobby. A oh, gathering thrashing. spot for those seeking fresh battles. Turf war battles aren't the only things that happen here. You can also square off in anarchy battles, where you anarchy. compete for rankings. Hold the active zones in splat zones. Ride the tower to the goal in tower control. I mean, it it's Splatoon, but it just looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Rainmaker. Or collect and throw clams to score in clam blitz. Duke it out. Not a fan of clam blitz. modes, which are on rotation. Want to take on a challenge solo? Select Anarchy Battle Series. Mm -hmm. But if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. You can also play private battles online. Set battle or... modes and other options to your liking. Why not play with your favorite battle modes alongside friends? That's what I'm saying. About these game modes will be available soon on the game's official website. Set it September 9th, two days after my birthday. Happy birthday to me and to all of you. I had no say in now, making that happen, but let's yes, talk about the features we shall celebrate. The this is the test range. Mm -hmm. Try out and get comfy with your weapons here. Test range Besides returns. Being able to practice whenever you want. It's also a great place to get all warmed up while waiting for yeah. rivals to join a battle. Next up, ghosts. Online friends will appear oh. as 3D holograms. Oh. Drop in on friends in the midst of battle and play alongside them. Oh. You can also join up and start a battle on the same team. Okay. You'll be able to see what your friends are up to. I'm loving this new music. It appears that you can also call out to friends in the lobby and invite them for battles. Why not see these features for yourself? I would like to. I plan this to buy this is where game. You can view battle replays. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> it appears that it can somewhat recreate recent battles. I love the way they talk about these features Fast as if forward. no game has ever implemented them before. Or skip Somehow. To a certain part. Or even swap to another player's It's view. cute. I get it. Incredible. Not only can you rewatch battles as many times as you'd like, but there's mm. even a share feature. We hope you'll use this handy tool to help you rank up. <laughs> Next, we'll analyze and discuss this space within the lobby, the Ooh. locker room. All right. Here, no peeking. you'll find some fresh lockers. One is yours, and the others belong to players with whom you've recently played. Oh, that's kind of neat. As you can see, you'll be able to place any acquired weapons, mm. gear, and items to your liking. It's Slap the little things, folks. Stickers, and modify Oops. your locker's color. Help this create is the your world. space to express yourself. So customize it however you'd like <laughs> to show some fish off in there. your signature splatting style. 
I like that. It's cute. Cute feature. Oh, yes. Items can be obtained at Hotlantis, a general mm -hmm. store on the edge of Splatsville. Apparently, Harmony. the store manager vanishes quite often. Harmony looks like she's on acid. It's run by an artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. Look at the face. Got an outlandish assortment of items. She's Why sky not show high. the store some love by grabbing some goods? There appear to be plenty of other customization features as well. We love customization. When battles start, these splash tags appear. Hmm? They can be customized with a banner, oh. badge, and title. Those are all kind of whatever things, but the more customization, the better. You can change the emote your character performs when you win a battle. Oh, very nice. All oh, very nice. All of these can be obtained via the in-game catalog, which will be available at Hotlantis. Thank you, By Harmony. Using points earned from battles, you You're can dabbing unlock on various them. items, like what? stuff for splash tags and seasonal gear. Following the game's launch, a new catalog is planned to be released every three months for two All years. Right. Be sure to snatch up everything you see in each two catalog. Two years. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. To share, but I need to take a little breather here. Me too. Where are we at? In the Half meantime, please turn your attention toward this. We're only at the halfway point. What's this? Mid-break commercial? Introducing Table Turf Battle! Lay out your cards for a dozen oh. deck duel! Ink different shapes with different cards. What is this? Charge up power, then unleash it all at once with a special attack. There are cards like this, and even ones like this, and there are over 150 cards to collect. She may have again. changed the tonation so of her voice, but it's not helping me. The Splatsville locals eagerly await your Indian. challenge. I mean, Sheldon. Every player will be gifted an in-game starter deck. Is this a mobile game or an in-game <clears throat> game? Me. I lost my clamposure for a second there. She did. She that lost her mind. Was Table Turf Battle, a 1v1 competitive card battle spin-off of Turf War. Uh -huh. It appears you can play this at the Table Turf Battle Dojo okay. in Splatsville. Be on the lookout for more details about Table Turf Battle. The game battle within the, the game. And now this. It'd be fun, but yes, I'm hating on it by based on what I saw. Ooh, Salmon Run. I do like Salmon Run. Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the salmonids advancing on them. Yep. This part-time gig is rumored to be a little fishy, but it pays pretty well. <laughs> by defeating particularly ferocious uh. creatures called boss salmonids, you can obtain valuable golden eggs. You'll need to collect and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to complete this job. Frantic music. This time around, we've confirmed some new types of boss salmon. Oh. So let's share our findings. Nice sketches. First up, the slammin' lid. It creates Little UFO. and protects salmon on the ground. Get too close to it, and it'll attempt to crush you. So approach with caution. Oh. Next, this big boy. The big shot. It fires heavy projectiles from a distance. Be prepared for powerful shock waves when they land. Hmm. With new boss salmon, it's confirmed. Make sure you're ready for an even more dangerous salmon run. Yeah, salmon run's always fun. That rhymed unintentionally. You do the Java. Head back. This is one of the new King Salmonids. Unbelievable. Chozuna. Kohozuna. Like appear just before you complete the job. Look at this big bastard. The tank on your back is a specially provided egg cannon, and it appears huh. that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. Huh. However, these battles are under a time limit. 
So rack up as much damage oh, as possible. Yeah. I've been back. Look how hectic this is. I love it. Madness. And this this is the still being researched big run. We believe this is when salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. It appears that this event happens once every few months. So <laughs> brace yourselves! Big run is coming! This narrator's bugging. At first I thought it was just lame, but now I'm loving her. Now, like she, she's into this it. Manhole she's having fun. Square. This is actually the entrance to the home of the Octarians, the Inklings' longtime enemies. As Agent 3, the newest recruit of the new Squidbeak Splatoon, you'll do battle with the Octarian army, whose members are covered in hair for some reason. Oh, wow, Along some of this looks great. Small fry, you'll explore many stages, each one full of twists and turns. Small Fry. Oh, I almost forgot. Story mode is perfect for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. So newer players wow. might want to try it out. I'll try it just because it looks fun. Well, we've come this far. What awaits the Inklings and Octolings in the end? We hope you can witness the epic finale of this splatastic saga. Old dude's giving me Roshi Dragon Ball vibes. We're back in Splatsville. From here on out, we'd like to talk about other features that'll help you enjoy your splatting escapades even more in the Splatoon 3 game. By all means, my goodness. You can post illustrations here via this mailbox. They'll be displayed all across Awful. the city and even in stages. Next. So put on your artist cap and post away. Vertical illustrations will also be supported. Awful. Next. Additionally, you can grab food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. Crab trap sandwich or sounds delicious. Local communication to play with nearby folks in your favorite modes at the shoal. By using photo mode, you can snap selfies, send photos to a smart device. I've never been a photo mode guy in like any video game. Locker. This is the recon guide. Select your favorite stages at any time and take a stroll around them. Why not get familiar the sound with each of that. stage prior to battles? <laughs> this is Splatnet 3. Integration. You can use this with your smart device. Is it worth it? It contains features like checking your latest battle stats. Hmm and ordering special in-game gear not sold in shops from the Splatnet gear shop. All right, well, I'll download it. Access features like Krusty Sean's Wonder Crust. Support this fellow's journey using ink points earned I depending on the areas you inked during battles. <laughs> Krusty Sean. Or view history to take a trip down memory lane with your past ranks. Unimportant. You can also snag special wallpapers and more for your smart device. So be sure to grab them. Maybe. It appears that Splatnet 3 will be available at launch via the Nintendo Switch Online mobile app. Okay, which I already have, so convenient. Exclusive Next outfits up, and accessories, amiibo that's what figures. we want that for. Scan Splatoon right. series Amiibo at this spot in Splatsville. And Ooh. voila! Saving your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. Love Amiibos. Additionally, it seems you'll be able to get special gear and even snap photos together with Amiibo. Dabbing on the haters. And Splatoon 3 Amiibo incoming. Ooh, that one in the middle. Release is scheduled for this holiday. That's yellow inkling looks fire. Now, Sniped let's em. talk about post-launch updates. Boom. Sucker. We mentioned a while ago, following the game's launch, a new in-game catalog will be released every three months what for two years. What is this golden gun? New weapons will also be added around the sure. same time as each catalog. Sure. In addition, X Battle, available Ooh. after attaining an extremely high rank in Anarchy Battle, and League Battle, where every two hours you can compete in teams based on your Anarchy Battle results, are planned to be added in future updates. Modes to aspire Furthermore, towards people. For this game, 
We're planning to add large-scale paid DLC. More That's one thing. Will come at a later time. So one thing about Nintendo. And much now, like with I'd like to wrap up this research report from the Squid Research Lab. Thank trying to talk, watching. lady. When Nintendo does paid DLC, they go big, like with the Animal Crossing. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Ooh, this, what is that, a manta ray? What's going on? Ivern. Make money, get fish quick. Big man in the house. Deep cut. The oh, shiver looks Squid. cool. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly popular trio who hosts the Splatsville news program, Anarchy Splatcast. Oh, they got new MCs. They provide information on battle stages, as well as I love Shiver's bulletins. design. While we're on the subject, the youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. They can check the news while doing yeah. other activities, as shown here. Hmm. And... What more? Oh, wow, that looks cool at night. This one you think the Nintendo Switch has tapped its potential, it still manages to impress visually. Get it, Shiver? Ah, I love her little design. Big man in the house. Gonna fall off. Fry stomping. I feel like I'm supposed to dance because that's all that's happening right now. Dancing and music. Give me a shiver, amiibo. It's like some event. They're hitting the moves. That big man, he just looks like he's drunk. In the back, like, oh. Some of that lighting looks pretty impressive. It's been confirmed that Splatfest will make a return. Yeah, okay. In these events, you pick a team based on the announced theme, then settle the outcome via battle. He was doing the Macarena, I this think. This time around, there will be three teams to choose from. Oh, you know my team Splatfest already. This consists of two halves. In the first half, teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. The second half is a tricolor turf war. Oh, yeah. It's a special mode where, whoa, three teams fight at the same time. Yeah, we get it, but it looks All great. players on the team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. Two players each from the okay. second and third place teams will attack the first place team from opposite ends of the stage. Oh, that's sick. Can the leading team defend themselves? Or will the other two teams exact revenge and force them out? I like it. Use the ultra signal to control the battle and contribute to the Splatfest while working alongside the members of Deep Cut. Wow. They really went ham on Splatoon okay. 3, didn't they? We're going to close out this presentation with an announcement from Deep Cut. Take it uh, away. Okay. It's like a lot of what you already know, but then a lot more. Everything a proper sequel should be. Give it to me, Deep Cut. I could read that. 
Listen up, it's going down. Rough in the Splatlands for Deep Cut. Anarchy's Black Cast for Live. Hey, here we go. I think that's all he says. You lip sync, we drip ink. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, he's just a hype man. He's a hype man. Hey, hey, breaking loose, you two. Oh, what's got your fins of flapping? Nani? Wow, it's officially happening. The Splatoon 3 Splatfest World Premiere. Yes, 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 party time. August 27th. Wait, what's the Splatfest World Premiere? Hey, a pre release Splatfest. Players take one of three teams to battle it out. Do you say three? Whoa. I know, right? And wait till you hear what the theme is. Drum roll. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. You know we're, we're rock. We'll know which one is the all time winner finally. Hold up. There's no such thing as the best move. I'm pretty sure I always win when I pick scissors. Have you ever heard of rock? Oh, see, she said rock. I knew she was my character. I said it. Me and you, Shiver. Fry, get out of here with that paper junk. Paper can fold into sharp shapes, and you can write devastating things on paper. Stri scissors are. Get out of here. Not when you make scissors out of your fingers with a rock hand as power. I get it. They're beefing. I just knew it. Shiver and I. Team Rock. You let me know your team down below. In the comments, of course. I mean, come on. Weak finger scissors. Get out of here. Oh, they're talking that ish for a long time. Oh. Shiver, you know my vote. Come on. Catch you later. That's all we have to share today. Or not. What? And now announcing the Splatoon 3 Enter the Splatlands Invitational 2022 Tournament. This event will take place on September 5th. Tournament already? Some of the top finishers from this summer's Splatoon 2 Inkopolis Showdown will head to okay. Seattle and compete in North America's first ever Splatoon 3 Invitational. Follow the official Nintendo Versus Twitter account. Is that a new logo? That Nintendo Versus? I don't think I've ever seen it. Findings as we uncover them. Follow the official Splatoon North American Twitter account. <laughs> we hope you'll have an incredible time starting September 9th. I Bye -bye. will. She loves her puns. There you have it, folks. Splatoon 3 Nintendo Direct, which was very beefy. Like I said, it's the Splatoon you know and love, but like a proper sequel should, it has a ton more content and it looks super fun. I'm going to be getting this as a day one purchase. No question. I need a Shiver Amiibo. Let me know. Are you Team Rock, Paper, Scissors for the Splatfest? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of Splatoon 3? Are you, are you into it or are you just kind of like, eh, more of the same? Who cares? I'd love to hear from you. I'm all about it. Day one. Super fun. Turf War. The three? The three Turf War? Three colors? Yeah. That looks like a lot of fun. So give this video a like. Think about subscribing. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. You might find something you like. Who knows? But thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.